Hello everyone, Chicago Bears here for another video review. This time we have the Cadbury's Oreo Bites. Um, the bite range, for those of you who don't know, is basically sort of these packs of uh, mini versions of various chocolate bars. So you get like Snickers Bites, Mars Bites, other thing bites. <laughs> and uh, the Cadbury do a Dairy Milk and Oreo um, bar, and this is their um, equivalent, I guess. But um, you know, it doesn't say Dairy Milk on it, so I don't know whether it's Dairy Milk chocolate or not. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm not sure really, but it is uh, basically chocolate covered mini sort of creamy filled bits with cookie pieces in there <laughs> so it's got a creamy sensor with uh, cookie pieces basically um, so yeah so really it's a bit of a departure I mean basically I'm not a massive fan of this sort of this sort of faux Oreo type bar where it's like this sort of creamy sensor with um, pieces of biscuit or piece of cookie which may or may not be Oreo um, yeah, they did an Oreo sandwich bar, a milk Oreo sandwich bar which is really nice which actually had sort of mini Oreos in them which was an Oreo but this sort of creamy bit really, it just doesn't taste anything like Oreos from my previous experience of these kind of things so it'll be interesting to see if this is nice or not um, yeah on the back it says uh, milk chocolate with a vanilla flavour filling and biscuit pieces so it doesn't say dairy milk chocolate and it doesn't say Oreo biscuit pieces so we shall see but obviously it is Oreo bites so maybe just you reckon that goes without saying but the dairy milk brand is definitely not there um, yeah so it's got uh, so it's, 100, uh, let's see, it's a 110 gram pack um, so typically it gives us per 100 grams on the back <laughs> and per 25 grams um, so it's 5 pieces is roughly 25 yeah so there you go so you divide it by 5 basically to find the uh, in each individual one um, so it does kind of imply that there's what 20, 22 in here I think is that right? yeah it's 110 grams so anyway so uh, per, per 25 138 calories 8.3 grams of fat 4.7 of which are saturates. And it comes with this reseal option here. I've never used these yet, and they never seem to work very well either. Um, some of them do have like a sort of tab thing that you can squeeze together, which works better. These always seem to come undone. I suppose I rarely use them because I will usually at them by then. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, it's a typical sort of Cadbury's affair, this sort of purple colouring, and then the Oreo sort of blue there as well. Nothing too dramatic going on really. It mentions about it's partnering with Fair Trade Foundation, Coco Life, CocoLife.org. And uh, there we go. This says reclose the sticker to maintain freshness. So there we are. Okay, so let's uh, give you an open. So we're expecting, uh, what did we say? Uh, 22, did we say in here? So that's what we get. Open very, at the top, oh, there we go. Let's find out. So, how many have we got? So, it's quite warm today. It's early in the morning, but I'm trying to, uh, yeah, try to do it early so uh, it's not as not as, not as warm, but um, we'll see. So, yes, yeah, so we've got five, ten, so we have actually got 20 in here. So, so really, I think we're basically we've got 100 grams. So let's give them a measure. So, these are roughly roughly about three centimeters long at the bottom, about 2.5 at the top, and roughly about a centimeter high, roughly, maybe just less. There we go, so, yes, and typically I've forgotten my knife, so I'm just going to grab it and cut this bit out. Okay, there we go, back <laughs> with my knife. Yes, so let's uh, give it a cut. Okay, so it cuts quite strongly, it's not soft. So there you can see in there, that's basically what you're getting. So it's uh, so yeah, so you got like a creamy coloured, chocolatey coloured cream in the middle. Quite a lot of Oreo biscuit actually, I'm quite pleased with that. With too much cream, so I think um, this one's definitely going to be a bit more at my street because I find that the cream is a bit too um, creamy, basically. <laughs> a bit too sickly. Yeah, so uh, usually it doesn't really work well for me, but um, these ones look a little bit like they might be a bit better. Um, so we shall see. So, yeah, so okay, so using technology, I'm going to lift this up. <laughs> I have a box. Um, just basically, yeah, <laughs> poised and ready to stand uh, the camera on. So, <laughs> okay, so hopefully, yeah. So sometimes, um, you basically, I use a good spirit level just to check that the uh, camera's still straight. And I don't think it is really here, but I don't know. Yeah, never mind. So sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, yes, so we'll see. Okay, uh, so let's give it a taste. Let's see what we think. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um. It's actually quite nice actually, these are definitely better than the um, 
regular Dairy Milk Oreo bar, definitely. Um, I don't think it's Dairy Milk Chocolate though, I can't, it's not obviously so anyway. Hmm. 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 Yeah, like a lot of these um, bite bars, I mean, well, some of them anyway, like the Dinky Deckers seem to be better than actually the uh, Cadbury's Double Decker. Um, and these ones are a lot better than the actual full size bar, I would say, because, um, hmm. Got a sort of chewiness to them, actually, um, only just. Yeah, I really, um, yeah, I quite like these, actually. I mean,. There's lots of um, lots of crunch in there as well with the Oreo biscuit pieces. As I say, the, um, the creaminess side of it is quite uh, minimal. It's more the accompaniment rather than the uh, the, the overall flavour. Um, hmm. Yeah, these are really nice. So they do have a slight sickliness to them, but um, definitely not for nothing like the we're in the full size bar and uh, all these are the yogurty creamy filling ones that I'm, I just find a bit too much for me. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed with these. It's really nice actually. I say lots of crunchiness to it and um, it's not dairy milk, um, which is a shame, but it's still nice chocolate. It's a similar affair really, um, but you know, quite a sort of um, soft chocolate, um, quite a sort of creamy one, but not, not got that creamy taste, but sort of um, quite, um, I say, well, melt quite easily in your fingers but um yeah i think uh i think really nice yeah really, really nice and as i say i think the oreo pieces are or what biscuit pieces are very tasty um sort of the right um the right there's lots of crunch in there there's lots of crunchy pieces in there hmm big chunky pieces as well i don't quite see that hmm and um and quite a thick chocolate too you can see how thick the chocolate is at the top so the creaminess of it is at the cream yogurt centre. What does it call it? Vanilla flavour filling. <laughs> it's quite it's quite minimal, and I think that's really good, and I think that's how it should be really, and that, that's why these work so well. Because you've got a good amount of chocolate, a good amount of biscuit, or Oreo cookie piece, or whatever, whatever you want to call it, um, and the and the vanilla filling, whatever it is, is uh, quite minimal. So, yeah, I'm pleased with these. I think, um, hmm. Does it have a sort of chewy taste? I mean, not, it wouldn't say it isn't chewy, but it, it, it feels that way when you bite them, you know. Um, yeah. When you first bite a toffee crisp, it has the same kind of feel almost. It, or it seems to at the start, and then obviously it doesn't. But yeah. Hmm. Nice. I think a four, four out of five, I think, for me. These are far better than the um, regular Oreo bars. Um, like Cadbury's Oreo bars. I mean, the, the Oreo sandwich bar that Cadbury have done is, is, is different again. So that, that, I'm, not, I'm not talking about that one. I mean, in the regular. Um, I don't know, these sort of the sort of the dairy milk big taste or whatever, where they got Oreo in it, or the or just the dairy milk with Oreo or whatever. Um, anything with just that sort of creamy sense where it's just too much. Um, these ones are far better, yeah, definitely far better. Four out of five. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. Um, hope you like my video. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, follow me to subscribe, like my videos, of course, and uh, and obviously follow me on Instagram as well. So yeah, and. And anything else you can think of, <laughs> feel free to do it. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks again. Take care. Bye for now. See ya.